Welcome to Golden Gate. Um, I hope that you're going to choose to come here and join us to get your degree. We're delighted that you're here tonight. How many of you, this is your first time here to Golden Gate University? A lot of you. Okay, so now you know where we are. Um, and we give good food. We have good food, so I hope you all get something good to eat. I'd like you to look around, and I'd like to ask the faculty um, and staff, people who work here, to please raise your hands. Everybody who's here, look at all the people. These people are the people you will get to know, not only for your own program, but there are people here tonight who will help you with anything that you need in terms of um, I, have to, I have to go back to my country. I'm going to be a little bit late getting back in the next semester. How do I work with that? Will you, I want to get an internship after I finish my degree program or toward the end of it. They help you. We have a wonderful career services program. We have one of the most beautiful libraries, which you may have noticed as you were coming into the building on Mission Street. It's all glassed in. It's a beautiful place where you can sit and chill. You can take a power nap if you need to anytime, but you can also work with your friends there. Um, the whole first floor, you can come in and eat and work together. Um, and the staff that's in the library are excellent sources of anything to help you do any of the projects that you need to do for school to help you learn new skills, to help you get started on brand new careers and ideas. And that's what we're all about here, is helping you to get to the next place you need to go and want to go in your life. Um, I know that a lot of you are here to get a degree because you need a degree to get to the place where you want to go, right? So in order, because sometimes going back to school wouldn't always be our first choice, like we'd rather go you know, hiking or walk on the beach or something like that, we, we work on, our approach to education is, like Barbara Carlin said, um, a very practical. We want you to be able to be using what you're learning um, the next day at work, um, or the next day in the library when you're working on projects. Um, and so, so we want it to be both fun as well as educational. So it's, it's going to be a little bit different from maybe your past experience in the classroom. Um, so, so talk to students who are here. Talk to the faculty. I will highly recommend that you stay in close touch with your faculty. Not only do we hear about opportunities for employment and internships and ideas about people, cool people that you should know, but also we're, we want to help you get the best and work in the most, um, the most efficient way for you to be able to get through your degree program, recognizing that you have very packed lives, that you're very busy working, some of you have families, there was a beautiful little baby here a minute ago, um, and that uh, your professors understand, it, you know, if you have a big project coming up, you have travel for work, talk to us. We are very human and we very much want you to be successful. Your success is our success. So, so that's, what we're, that's what we're interested in doing. So don't be afraid to ask. Um, I teach, I'm a director of the Human Resource Management Program. We offer a master's degree for people who want to become professional human resource managers, people a lot of times who are already working in the field of human resource management and they want to get the credential, like all of you, to, um, to advance their, their careers. Um, I'm very interested in, in fact, I spent this morning at a professional conference where there were, um, eight different HR directors from around San Francisco companies talking about the importance of being able to have authentic relationships at work, how important it is to be able to communicate at work and to be able to work in ways that are both polite but challenging so that you can push people to think in new ways and to be able to take on new ideas. And I think that's one of the things that you'll find in classes here. We like our students to be pushed. We force you to work together. So while you're going to be sometimes saying, oh, I just need to have time to work alone to get this done, you're developing skills actually when you learn how to work with other people while you're here in school. Um, and we 
hope to give you, um, I hope to give you in the classes that I teach, a toolkit to take with you about that helps you know how to manage both yourself and your interactions with other people who are either on your team or clients that you have or partners or vendors that you have to work with. How do you persuade them to see the world in your way or to get something done together for your mutual benefit? Um, so, so for instance, there's a class that I've taught for years here on teamwork. Some of the people in this room have taken it. And it's a class where we, we teach you things like, what are the conditions you need in order to have your team work together effectively? Think about teams you've worked on. Think about ones that have gone particularly well and think about ones that have gone particularly bad. Usually the teams that don't work very well are teams where there's not very much trust. Trust is the foundation in good teamwork. Another thing that's really important in teams is the ability to communicate. That means not only to say, I know this and I need to convey it to you, but it's also, I want to give you some feedback on how you're doing. I need to be able to talk to you about how you performed on that last project or something that I need you to step up your game on in order to get better results next time. We work on, we practice, and I'm looking at some of the faces in here who have gone through this with us, giving and receiving feedback from one another. And it's, it can be very painful when you first start doing it um, and scary, but what we want to do is have you become comfortable with your ability to have authentic conversations, sharing of feedback and ideas in your workplace, and also to be able to feel so comfortable with these skills that you can teach them to other people where you work. And when you work on teams, you can say, first thing we have to do is develop a charter. We have to decide what our values are, how we want to work, and let's sit down and put down, put down our rules of engagement. And we're going to abide by those, and we're going to hold one another to those. And then we're going to have constructive feedback back and forth, and we're going to make this be a growing experience for us. That's just a little very short snippet of one of the classes that I have taught. Um, and uh, the we developed the class. I've worked with several of my colleagues here to put the class together. And we bring in practices that people from companies all around the area have brought and developed in their own workplace. And we try them on for size. And it's been a delightful way to continue to upgrade the education. And I think that's one of the things you'll find here. The courses change constantly because the people who are teaching them are practicing what they do. And so they bring new information to the classes. And you also benefit from the fact that you're in a classroom with other people who do work too. And they bring all of their experience to the classroom too. So you have a whole set of teachers, not only the professor, who's standing up in front with the mic and needs to hand it on now. So I welcome all of you. I hope you'll come and join us for your degrees here. We would love to have you. We're a great place to go to school. Um, and I wish all of you success in your academic endeavors and hope to see you around in Golden Gate University. Thank you very much.